What's up guys, it's Mac. Um, I got two PSA orders here. It's a 60 card order and a 50 card order. Uh, so 110 cards. It was the uh, May, I believe it was, special for 17 bucks a card or whatever it was. Uh, we got a 2020 uh, Optic CD Lamb. That's the uh, Rookie of the Year Contenders Orange out of 50. That's a sweet card. That was a CSG 9. So I would have been happy with a 9, but it got a 10. I don't know. I don't know what all that crap is. That's on the slab, like little pits almost. Damn, that's kind of ugly looking. Uh, yeah, 10. And then I got two Aaron Rodgers uh, 2005 flagship tops rookies. A 9 and a 10. Um, I've, that's the first time I've ever got 10 I've ever gotten on this card. We got a whole bunch of 9s, so I'm happy with that. These are uh, the old slabs, too. They've transitioned back to that for the time being, so I'm happy about that. I I really like the new slabs for like the durability. Um, if you drop one, it doesn't chip the corner off or yeah, chip up wherever. It just whatever bounces basically. They're like rubbery. Um, but yeah, I these you can crack easier and they're lighter and I don't know. I other than the the toughness of the new slab, I I like the old ones. But a ten and a nine. And then a 2023 Prism Puka Nakua Disco got a 10. Uh, Sam Laporta 23 Optic Purple Shock. So this has got one of those refractor lines. It's got that print line there too. Um, pretty much every Optic card, every Purple Shock, Optic 2023 um, that I've gotten has that. All the Strouds, everything. So I'm not too worried about that. But this has one of those refractor lines, and I'll hold them back usually, because it's you're pretty much guaranteed to hit a nine. But this one, just the position of it, you can't really see it there. It it breaks the pattern. It's one of those. Um, but yeah, it's it's very hidden. Uh, I figured I may have a shot with the location of it, and it got a ten, so kind of cool. Then a uh, twenty-three optic, Will Levis blue glitter. Got a 10. I think these are pretty short printed. Um, just a, another new parallel. Here's the uh, pink in a 10. Um, I like this the optic pink better than the Donruss pink. It's just a little, a little brighter. The refractor's a little shinier. It, I don't know. I think it looks better. But here's a Stroud, the preview pink. And a 10 this was a this was an eight in one of my previous orders so good good bump to a 10 and then uh this is the optic pink stroud and a 10 and we got a 23 prism jameer gibbs pink and a 10 Here we got a 98 SP Authentic, Randy Moss. It's the uh, Players, Inc. Rookie Auto. It's an 8. It's deserved of an 8. It's pretty, pretty beat up. It's for my collection. I collect Randy Moss, so just wanted to get it slabbed up more than anything. So I'm happy with that. Glad to uh, own a copy of that now. Uh, another cool card. This is a 2013 score. Travis Kelsey purple out of 99. Got an 8. There's definitely some whitening here and there. Um, it, it's pretty centered. I just, uh, it'd be nice to squeak a 9 out of that one. That being solo numbered. I may try it again. Maybe not. This one is deserved of an 8. Um, all the corners are white. And there's some surface stuff going on somewhere. 
make some scratching and whatnot. So another eight. I think those blues are fairly short printed too. And then uh, 2017 Optic, Christian McCaffrey, the rookies, got a 10. Uh, 2016 Optic, Chris Jones, that's the base card and a 10. Two 2017 Optic TJ Watt base card. Two tens. 2020 Mosaic Jalen Hurts the uh, green Mosaic got a ten. The uh, silver select and a ten. And the uh, purple die cut got a ten. Uh, 23 Prism Dalton Kincaid. Uh, orange ice and a 10. Yeah, 2020 select to a uh, field level orange. Got a 10. Hopefully he can come out this year and look decent. His uh, market could use it. Uh, 2020 select JJ tricolor die cut and a 10. Those ones are tough to 10 just because of that. It uh, if it's centered on the front, it's gonna look like that. And those corners can usually be pretty white, but I'm sure that's 80 20. It, it looks like shit, but I'm sure it's there. 80 20 looks pretty far off. Uh, or whatever PSA standard is, I think it's 80-20 for the back centering. Uh, 2020 Mosaic, Justin Jefferson, Camel Pink, and a 10. But yeah, if you ever see, see, I bet you, oh, I bet you there's no, like, SGC or Beckett, Beckett 9.5, well, maybe with Beckett subgrade crap, but, uh, I bet you there's no SGC 10s of these, uh, club level ones. I'd be impressed if there was. Uh, 2020 Mosaic, Justin Jefferson, Reactive Blue, got a 10. 2020 Optic Hollow, JJ, got a 10. This has got like a little nick on the front there. Yeah, I got a 10. I'm happy with it. It's uh, these are just they're tough to find fairly clean. So that one was probably on the fence of being a 10. Um, this is a 2020 Optic JJ. That's the uh, autograph out of 150. Got a six. I was hoping for a nine. I don't um, I probably missed a like a indent somewhere. I would imagine with it being a Six. Sorry, I uh, curiosity is killing me a little bit. Kind of got quiet there. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's a, well, that might be the, the card. Yeah, I don't know, that cardstock looks funny on her light, but, I mean, that almost looks like a wrinkle right there, like it got bent, but at the same time, that kind of looks like the card. I don't know, PSA 6, we'll see what. I do with that. Um, 96 upper deck Kobe uh, and a PSA 9 rookie card. There's the uh, 2002 uh, Yao Ming rookie autograph. I'd uh, never seen this card before until it popped up in auction. Uh, pretty, pretty cool. PSA 9. Here's a Tiger Woods rookie and a 9. Uh, Rory McIlroy, nine. Uh, one 
car didn't get graded, which, whatever, out of 110 cars here, one didn't. It's this Brady rookie. Um, uh, questionable authenticity is what they had. And it's like one of the cleanest copies I've ever seen. I mean, really, it, there's definitely whitening that corner, and I think maybe the back edge. Tiny bit of chipping, but if you buy this card raw, it, it's, just, it's just, yeah, they're chipped. So I got to look in. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it's real. Um, I, I think this, this right here looks maybe like it's kind of grainy and questionable that I printed just, I don't know. I don't know. So I started looking at other copies and there's other copies where that, that lettering looks the same, that goofy, just dull print on those kind of looks the same. That being gray and that being black, there's some of them where it's black and black and some gray, but I think that's just print or just ink. I think, I don't know. I'm gonna, I think I have another copy laying around somewhere. I'm gonna pull it out and look, but coloring on the front looks right. I just, uh, I don't know. If it's a fake card, it's, I mean, it's pretty impressive. It's, usually you can tell. I mean, feels, feels legit, looks legit. I mean, I was a little skeptical when I started looking at the pictures of it and saw how dull that was, but I don't know. Maybe I'll try it again, maybe not. I, um, don't want to keep sending in cards that PSA thinks is fake, especially if it is fake. So we'll see there. Whatever. Uh, next up, we got a 2002 Tops Pristine Albert Pujols, PSA 10, it's uh, second year. And then uh, Manny Machado, um, PSA 10, that's the uh, blue wave. That um, that was a PSA 9 in a previous order of mine. So I'll take the bump on that. And then 2011 Gypsy Queen, Freddie Freeman, Rookie Auto in a 10. I thought this one was gonna nine. It's got some skip questionable corners. Like that's a little white there. That one's like, I don't think it's very white. It's just almost like a, just like a soft corner. But I will take the 10. Here's a Class A uh, refractor. First Bowman Auto out of 4.99 in a nine. Uh, Ichiro, flagship tops in a eight. There's a 2024 Topps, Ellie De La Cruz, Holiday in a 10. Uh, 2018 Chronicles, uh, it's a Phoenix in a 10. Joey Otani rookie. Here's the uh, Bowman Platinum in a 10. It's a tough card. Super tough card that's always chipped. I mean, this one's probably got it somewhere. It's a... Uh, Pretty much impossible. Yeah, there's a tiny bit there. Pretty much impossible to get it without that chipping. So, uh, decent one there. And the value probably reflects it in that, where, like this, 2018 rookie debut, these are probably 75 bucks. I'm pretty sure this is probably like 150, just cause it's, it's real hard to get tens on them. Um, I actually got a bunch of these. There's three tens and a nine. And then I got the, that's the newer slab though. Weird. And then these are that newer rubbery slab. They're the US ones all got tens. 
Uh, here's another Ichiro rookie. That's the uh, gallery, the uh, English one. I got a Japanese one in here too somewhere. PSA 9. Uh, 2001 Fleer Legacy, Albert Pujols. Uh, number to 799, got a 6. That um, was a 6 before too. Um, and I cracked it all, looked at it, thought it would get an 8. But 6 is back to back. Uh, that would tell me there's probably a 6. There's a... Uh, Yeah, that. It's like pinched. All right. Lots of chipping. There's that damn scratch thing. But, um, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, so I wasted a couple grading fees on that one, but whatever. Uh, 2012 tops, Bryce Harper. Uh, and a PSA 10. Here's a 2011 Topps Chrome, Freddie Freeman in a 10. I buy so many copies of this card and hardly ever send any out. It just comes so scratched up. Uh, if that's on the card too, maybe. Kind of looks like it is. PSA 10. And then I got some uh, 2011 flagships. Uh, they all got tens. Four of them. This is weird. Some of these are the new slab and some of them are the old slab. But here's the uh, 2014 rookie debut Mookie Betts in a 10. Uh, 96 select in Fuego. Cal Ripken. I hit a 10 on this. Last time I graded it, this one's got a little bit of chipping and a touch of white in that corner, so nine there. Uh, Fleer Ultra, David Ortiz. I gotta stop sending these in. Um, I keep getting sevens and eights. It's just, they come so chipped up. I mean, this eight actually looks worse than the seven. That corner's a little soft, but usually they're a hell of a lot worse than that. Um, yeah, I just gotta stop sending those in. Oh man, those are some goofy piles. Bunch of uh, sevens and a six pile. Uh, 97 Fleer, David Ortiz. Easy, easy card to grade. Three tens. Uh, this, so that was one order. Um, this is crazy. I mean, that's, I don't even know what that is. It's a hell of a gem right though. Sorry about moving the camera around. And then this would be a separate order. Uh, 2023 Donruss, Jameer Gibbs, uh, red and green optic preview, got a 10. Uh, 2022 Donruss, Brock Purdy, Blue Press Proof, and a 9. Uh, Will Levis, Laser, 910. Uh, 21 Mosaic, Christian McCaffrey, Gold, No Huddle, uh, numbered out of 10. Got a PSA 10. 2020 Mosaic, uh, Justin Jefferson, Camel Pink in a 10. These are tough. 2021, clearly Donruss, Amon Ross, St. Brown, Auto. There's, I mean, there's going to be scratching on it. It's acetate. It's, I mean, just impossible to get them without it, but to find ones that are pretty clean is, is a uh, challenge for sure. 10 on that guy. 21 Optic, Amon Ra, Purple Shock, got a 9. Uh, 2020 Mosaic, Jalen Hurts, Reactive Goal in a 9. 2020 Mosaic, JJ, it's the uh, red in a 10. Dak Prescott, 
Optic red and yellow rookie. Got a nine. 2016 Optic Chris Jones. Another one of those base cards in a 10. Uh, 2020 XR Justin Jefferson. Uh, number out of 25. It's the uh, purple. Color match. Number out of 25. Really would have been sweet to get a 10 on it. It's got to be like whitening or something. Uh, maybe there. Maybe a little bit, but whatever. PSA 9. 2020 select. Jalen Hurts, that's the uh, field level purple in a 10. Uh, 2020 select, JJ, that's the uh, white die cut in a 10. Those look so sweet with that white jersey. Uh, here's a, probably one of my favorite cards here. Uh, it's the uh, tie dye out of 25. Got a nine. So I got the gold, I got two golds, and now a tie-dye. Um, I'm kind of late to the party, but I think I might go for the rainbow. I'm not going to be able to get to the one one the, the guy that's got the one one is that's that's stashed. I think he's got two of them. And then the field level one one is on eBay, but the guy that owns it got it autographed, which um, it's like the black finite one one or black whatever one one you got an autograph on it, got JJ out of it, but which in my opinion kind of wrecks the card. Uh, but whatever. And then the uh, 2020 Mosaic, Jalen Hurts, green, got a 10. Here's the uh, maroon die cut and a nine. Uh, another top, Aaron Rodgers, got a 10. That's awesome. Joe Thomas, 2007 Topps Chrome Base in a 10. Here's a 2013 Travis Kelsey score in a 9. 2007 Bowman Chrome, Joe Thomas X Fractor in a 9. That one's uh, numbered out of 250. It's got, um, it's got that line right there. another 10 so three for four on these <clears throat> which is pretty sweet considering i really have never gotten a 10 on it here's a 2020 prism red white and blue jefferson and a nine 2016 optic jared goff red and yellow got a 10 Otani's uh, 2018 Chronicle Studio got a 10. I don't think I'm gonna be able to put these all in one 10 pile. I'm gonna run into my display thing on the wall. Uh, here's a nine finest first. Uh, here's the Bowman and a 10. Uh, here's the uh, rookie debut 10. 10 and 10 and then here's the US ones uh, 9 9 10 10 10 so three tens two nines uh, here's some David Ortiz which I got a 10, an 8, and a 9. Usually, usually uh, those you get 10s on. This one is jacked up. That's a uh, very, very poor condition for this card. That doesn't come out of the pack like that at all. Um, Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know if I was thinking I'd throw that in front. They'd give it a 9 and then see the other ones that are give them tens or what I was doing there, but 
Look out an eight. And then uh, Aaron Judge catching, got an eight. This is the one I wanted to look at. Um, I had it written down as a 10. I don't, these are usually chipped to hell. Yeah, that corner is white. And yeah, probably something going on on the surface. Maybe that if that's on the card. PSA 8. Uh, here's the Japanese variation of that Ichiro rookie. We got Japanese there. So a 9 on that one. Would have been nice to get a 10 on one of them, but uh, that's where I went wrong. little chipping there on both of them. Uh, here's another 8 on the flagship. Colton Kowser, um, autograph, got a 10, out of top from black. This, um, I got two of these, and they both look the same. That, that stuff right there is on the card. And I, I, I didn't know how they'd handle it. I'd figure they'd give it like an 8 or something, so I sent one. And they got a 10, and it got a 10. Um, I don't think it deserves it but maybe they're all like that i just i don't i don't know it just really does look like crap and it doesn't doesn't clean off it's like in the finish but uh psa 10 nonetheless uh 22 bowman o'neill cruz yellow refractor out of 75 uh yeah that would have been cool to get a little higher on PSA 8. Uh, Aaron Judge, this is the uh, short print, the uh, image variation. And a 9. Uh, another one of these Harpers. That one got a 9. This is the uh, Mookie Bats flagship. 9. That looks a little thick, but might might be 60 40 yeah it probably is they're real close probably real close and then uh 2011 tops freddie freeman got a nine on that one uh here's the x fractor out of tops chrome got a 10 i uh i got two copies of this now Good one there. And then uh, 2004 Tops, Cracker Jack, Yadier Molina. This is a sticker. That is the sticker. That's cool. And a 10. Those are definitely tougher than the base card, but just real thin, flimsy. I mean, it's a sticker. Got a 10. So that, that'll do it. That, uh, is that was two orders um 110 cards total let's see if i can do this jesus yeah so good good amount of tens there um some a lot more eights and stuff than i probably need to be getting but that's all right i got a <clears throat> one more order coming back next week and more coming shortly so i will be back uh and i appreciate you guys watching i will catch you later